Ciao, welcome to Quizpot. I'm Marco, and in this video, I'm reviewing The Spirit by Cradle, which is an uh, uh, emulation of the Louis Bell vocal chain. So let's dive into it. Okay, so this is the plugin. Let's start with the GUI. Here we have the input meter, and here we have an ideal target that we want to enter the plugin. Then we have the rider. This is the on off for the rider. And here we have various controls. So basically, we are enabling a vocal rider to kind of hit that uh, target. Uh, uh, before. So it's basically a vocal rider. It's doing some volume automation before we enter the rest of the plugin. Then here we have the gain, uh, the input gain. Here we have a character thing with compression and focus uh, knob. We have an EQ, so with a low, a high shelf. Then we have a doubler with a stereo and mix knob. And finally, we have a room plate reverb with a low pass filter <coughs> and with a mix knob. Finally, we have the output meter and the output gain. So Let's listen to how it sounds in this project, for example. Watch for our people who know it all. I swear they would throw you off your course like you owe along. Been by my bread, I never needed your provolone. I stay hungry, I can go get it on my own. It's my life. Live life without a limit, despite what people thinking. Truth is, you only get one life. Cherish every minute, hold on to. So, this is really bringing the vocal to life. And. I mean, it's great. I only have a few concerns about what's going on with this fact because I tried reading the Cradle documentation, but I didn't find the answer I was looking for. So, have the compression. So, let's see how it kind of sounds when I tweak the knobs. So, Watch for our people who know it all. I swear they would throw you off your course like you owe along. Been by my bread, I never needed your provolone. I stay hungry, I can go get it on my own. It's my life. Live life without a limit, despite what people thinking. Truth is, you only get one. So I guess this one sounds like downward expansion. And then we have the focus. Watch for our people who know it all. I swear they would throw you off your course like you owe along. Been by my bread, I never needed your provolone. I stay hungry, I can go get it on my own. It's my so this sounds like a shelf on the mid-range and the high-end. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever need that much of that sound, but... I mean, it's still an option. Then we have the EQ, so here we have the high shelf, here we have the low shelf, so that's fine. It goes from minus 12 to plus 12 dB, which is a reasonable range. Here we have the chorus. The Watch double. for our people who know it all. I swear they would throw you off your course like you owe along. Been by my bread, I never needed your provolone. I stay hungry, I can go get it on my own. It's my life. Live life without a limit, despite what people thinking. Truth is, you only get one life. So this indeed sounds good. And then we have the reverb. So we have a room and plate reverb. So that's basically it. As we go for the presets, we have like a few of them. Let's just see how they sound. Watch for us, people who know it all. I swear they would throw you off your course like you owe along. Been by my bread, I never needed your provolone. I stay hungry, I can go get it on my own. It's my life. Live life without a limit, despite what people thinking. Truth is, you only get one life. Cherish every minute, hold on to your vision. Born just to be different, it's my life. And I'm gonna live it on my terms, I did it. I'm more than just committed, it feels right. Life without a limit, it's my life. My life, my life. So, there are a few starting points, uh, and I'm okay with them. The tricky thing with all this stuff is the game matching. So, the vocal rider is nice, there's no vocal rider at the end, so maybe a note compensation thing would be great. I mean, you can always do the A B test and kind of game match the stuff, but having the input meter at the very left and the output meter at the very right makes it kind of tricky. I mean, I could have two meters, one next to the other, and basically adjust the output gain or the input gain, but generally the output gain, so it kind of matches the input gain. So I would like to have these sort of stuff kind of editable, so I can move these here or having some sort of comparison stuff. And another thing that maybe it's because it's Louis Bell uh, chain, but 
kind of change the order of this stuff, that would be great. I mean, it's only in one interface and so it's going to add up with other stuff. Maybe I would like to compress the doubled signal or the queued signal. I mean, I'm okay with the Louisville emulation stuff, but having it as a starting point and then having the freedom to kind of tweak the whole plugin in that way too, it would be great, it would be nice. I mean, it will make the plugin more complete. However, with that being said, I'm really happy with how the plugin sounds. Mm -hmm. The character part, it's a bit mysterious and isn't giving, I mean, the, the info that I would like to have, but I will just use my ears and get used to just rely on them and not much on visuals and numbers. I think this plugin has some application on instruments too and kind of melodic stuff because, I mean, they are that kind of sounds that somehow matches vocals, so they carry the music. I don't think this is going to work nice on drums, but who knows? I don't think it's going to work nice on bass, but... Who knows, I mean, this is meant for vocals, as much as I know, but on instruments this should be like a nice chair on top, so let's try it. So first you can see how it's changing the gain of the whole stuff by only having the compressor module enabled. It's my life. Live Watch for our people who know it all. I swear they would throw you off your course like you owe along. Been by my bread, I never needed to probe along. I stay hungry, I can go get it on my own. It's my life. Live life without a limit, despite the people thinking truth is you only. <laughs> so, this certainly adds some mojo to the instruments, boss, as well. Or individual instruments, you can try whatever you want. But I like the sound. It's kind of tricky to tweak the gain compensation stuff, but I like it. <coughs> so as you can see, it sounds great on instruments too. The only tricky thing about this plugin is the gain compensation, but we have clear meters with the input and output stuff. So that's it basically. I like the plugin and it's kind of a cherry on top on your chains. So you wanted to use it maybe or at the very beginning to kind of shape the sound right from the start or kind of like a panic button or a very nice addition at the very end when you've dealt with all your carefully crafted mixing chains and then you want to add some more module and see how treating the sound with a less analytical approach uh, kind of changes the sound so <coughs> so this is how it sounds on instruments i really like the character i think this is something you want to use at the very beginning of the chain to kind of set the character right from the start or at the very end once you have like set all your carefully crafted mixing chain, signal flow, uh, mixing, blah, blah, blah. And you can add that cherry on top, that mojo to your instruments, to your vocals, and see how treating your sound without an analytical GUI kind of affects uh, your response, your feelings towards the mix. So this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.